Hi everybody, thank you so much for tuning in to another one of our Facebook videos about the awesome services we have here at Easter Seals. We are gearing up for our 45th annual telethon happening tomorrow here at the Peoria Service Center. We'll be on the phones from noon to six and then we will be back on the phones from six to 8 p.m. at the Paradise for the live show. It is our 100th anniversary this year. We have so many exciting things to tell you about. We could not pack them all into the telethon. So joining me today, we have Britta. Hi Britta, how are you? Hi, I'm good, how are you? Great, great. So let's talk about um, what is AAC? So um, AAC just stands for Augmentative and Alternative Communication. Um, so Augmentative just means that we're supplementing, we're adding to the verbal speech that they already have, and Alternative means that we're replacing verbal speech because they're not using it. So um, that's replacing it with something like this. That's awesome. This is definitely one of the services that not a lot of people know that we provide here. So how do we work with families on AAC? Um, so a first step in, in kind of pursuing all this is um, just talking with your doctor. First of all, if you have um, concerns with your child's ability to communicate, um, they could then refer you to get a speech evaluation. Um, in that evaluation, we would look at um, just how they use their language and if we think it would be appropriate for them to use some sort of AAC device, whether that is pictures, something simple like this, um, or using some sort of more high-tech device like a tablet. Awesome. So um, these tablets, are these tablets that the patients would get through insurance? Yeah, so this one is an example of what's called a dedicated device. So this is one that we would do a formal evaluation, go through insurance um, and get approval and insurance can help cover this type of a device. There are also other options that um, you can download as an app on a tablet. Um, those are not covered by insurance as frequently. Um, there are some upcoming ways to kind of go about getting a tablet as a dedicated device. The main reason is that children can use a tablet for other things, which means it's not as motivating to use for communication. That's great to know. So um, when, when someone sees somebody in public using one of these devices, what are some things that, that you as a provider of this or the, the families, what do they want people to know? Um, I would say, um, first of all, just to kind of respect that this is their voice. So um, it's kind of like if we were talking and um, you touched my lips, I wouldn't really appreciate that. Or if I was using a laptop and you started touching my laptop, I wouldn't um, necessarily like that either. So just giving them the respect of this is their voice and this is their own personal belonging. Um, and that's the way that they communicate. Um, another thing is just kind of being patient too and just allowing them a little bit of time um, to formulate their response. Um, this device definitely allows them to be fully capable of saying um, anything they want to say. So just giving them that little bit of extra time to say what they want to say because they are fully empowered to do so by using one of these. Um, and then I would say just don't, um, look differently at the person. I would say presume that they are competent at using the device. Um, just because it looks a little different doesn't mean that they have less important things to say. That's awesome. Thank you so much for sharing this information with us. If you have questions about AAC or any of these devices, you can comment below and we'll run those questions by Britta. Um,